Those squishy, delicious marshmallows, we love them. So easy to buy at the supermarket, but there's something so satisfying about making them from scratch at home. Essentially, marshmallow is a combination of caster sugar, water and gelatin. So the first thing we need to do is make a sugar syrup. So I'm going to add my whisk attachment to the Cuisine Companion. And the best thing about this food processor is it has a heat element. So it's all about accuracy when it comes to marshmallow making. So we're going to add our sugar and our water. And the lid goes on. And we want this to bubble away at exactly 120 degrees. Now you can do this in a pot, but you'll need a thermometer and you'll need to keep an eye on it for the accuracy. This is taking all the guesswork out and doing it for me. So that's set at 120. We'll put the timer on for exactly 10 minutes and we'll just let that bubble away. While that's bubbling away, I need to bloom my gelatin. So three titanium strength gelatin leaves, or you may need a little more if you're using gold leaf. We're gonna pop that into some water. So one leaf at a time so it doesn't stick. And just allow that to sit there for about five to 10 minutes or until this is ready to go. Okay, this is ready. We've got a beautiful sugar syrup. Now we can add some flavouring to this. I love orange blossom, so I'm going to add just a small splash to this. You can leave it completely plain if you like to. And our gelatin, so it's nice and soft. Look at that. We're just going to squeeze the excess water out and we'll pop that into the hot syrup. The lid goes on. I'm going to take the cap off now because we want to get this completely aerated. We're going to pop this on speed nine and we're going to give this another 10 minutes. Okay, let's have a look at this. Oh, wow, isn't it amazing? Three ingredients can make us that delightful, glossy mixture. So it's ready to go. This is a 20 by 20 centimetre tin. I've sprayed it with some oil. I've also placed some cling wrap inside and sprayed it again. We want extra assurance so this comes out nice and neatly. So we're going to pour this glossy goodness straight into this tin and I'll just scrape down the sides too. And now all we need to do is allow this gelatin to set. So you can put this in the fridge if you like or just leave it on the bench. Give it at least an hour or two. Once it's firm enough to take out, we can go on to the next stage, which is icing it. Marshmallow has set. You can see this just by removing that cling film. See how firm it is? But it's very, very sticky. So the best way to handle this is first to take it out of its tin and we need to get the icing component ready. So it's just icing sugar into a dish like this. I'm adding some coconut. I love desiccated coconut and also some corn flour. So We'll just combine these three ingredients together. And I'm just going to dust my board. So just a small sprinkling of this goes down. Then we're going to take our cling film off and pop that onto our board. The kids are going to love this. Big kids love this too. It's so much fun to do at home. And now to cut this, I've just got some water here. I'm going to put my knife into the water. It's much easier to cut some squares out of. So let's go straight down the middle to start with. And wet your knife every time you make a cut. So I want perfect squares. We'll cut that again in half. Fantastic. And again. And I'm making big marshmallows. Beautiful thing about making it at home is you can make it any size you like. And now I'm going to put a little of that icing onto my hands and just pick up our marshmallow squares. 
Wow, look at that. And then we can pop it into our icing. Now we're just going to dust it and that is our marshmallow ready to go. I've got my plate ready. We'll just dust off the excess and we'll pop them on. Fantastic as little gifts or even better on a cold winter's night near the fire roasting marshmallows that are homemade. But until then, I'm just going to eat them as is. Mm. <laughs> homemade marshmallows, they just taste so much better. They're like little clouds of sugary goodness. <laughs>